Hugs, everyone, and welcome to Pass the Mic. On a clear day, rise and look around you, and you'll see. on a clear day. As we are embracing our memories, our triumphs, our growth, our learning curve and wisdom of 2018, as we get ready to embark into 2019, I wanna thank all of my subscribers and all of the new subscribers that are coming. For 2019 is an expansive expression of our divine divinity. Recognizing that every day we are co-creating. We are creating our today, our tomorrow. So join with me for 2019 taking full ownership of your life, full ownership of the truth of who you are, recognizing that you are worthy of everything. Not because you have success or because you have accomplished this or that, just because, because you, are born. You are born into a beautiful, creative life that is here for you. And because of that, everything, everything is unfolding for you. So in 2019, I dare you to know your greatness. I dare you to believe in yourself in such a way that no one or no thing can make you doubt you, can disrupt or disturb your groove because there are so many wonderful things that are, on flow, that are flowing for you. So as I recap, 2018. What happened in 2018? Well, I learned a lot about myself. At times, the road seemed to appear as to go nowhere, a dead end. And the dead end was those moments and times where I had to really pull back from the world and sink into the divine presence. A lot of joy in 2018. All oh, the beautiful ocean and the nature of life that's all around me constantly. Traveling and hanging out with friends from afar. On the road, brown sugar, my car. Some of you know brown sugar. Some of the trips she made and some she said, I can't do it. And I have to tell you, that car has helped me understand that beyond anything, I'm divinely protected. I'm cared for. Because when I didn't know how, the universe made a way. So 2018 for me was a lot about expansion. And at the end, I got this beautiful golden nugget that there are times that I have doubted myself. It was an energy and a feeling. Um, those of you that know me, I'm very big into feeling and energy because it tells you instantly where you are. So where in your life in 2018 did you doubt yourself? Where in your time and space did you think you weren't enough? Now, of course, there are moments and times when we know that we got it going on, that we are it, that everything, the sun rises just for us. The world is turning just for us. 
You see, we look out into the world and yes, it is filled with an enormous amount of things. I mean, the world is filled with some of everything. And sometimes we think we have to change the world out there in order to have a great world in here. Well, I believe that the world in here is the world that I live in. For whatever I am thinking and feeling and believing in me, that is what I am experiencing out there. So I realize I don't have to change the world. I just change my world by my thinking and feeling. If there's something that I feel isn't working for me, I don't need everybody else to get in alignment with it. I got to get in alignment with it. Which means for me, I've got to change the way I think and feel about whatever that is. Whatever it is. Money, health, love, life, career, joy. The power of joy is mighty. Joy, 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 joy to the world. Joy, joy, joy. Remember your joy. Take it with you wherever you go and recognize the power of joy. You see, joy can lift your spirit and your heart in such a way that it doesn't matter what somebody else does or what they say. Our teachers are bountiful. <laughs> Did I say that? Our teachers are bountiful. <laughs> Our teachers are bountiful. Our teachers are what? Bountiful. <laughs> yes. And at this point in time, we have a lot of teachers. Political teachers, religious and spiritual teachers. We have uh, associate teachers and, and um, co-worker teachers and boss teachers and husband and wives teachers and children teachers, our kids teachers, our friends teachers, every relationship. And yes, these are all relationships that are teachers for us. And so whatever relationship or teacher that you may come in contact with, number one, it is a blessing. Number two, Get the blessing as quick as you can and keep it moving. And number three, very important, don't curse the messenger. <laughs> don't cuss the messenger. <laughs> Say what? Say what? Say what? Say what? Don't beat up the messenger. Receive the message. Receive the gift. When you can and as soon as you can. And then take it for all it's worth. And keep on keeping on. So for 2019, what are you willing to birth into your life? I know that there are dreams and desires that each and every one of us have. That means you and you and you and absolutely you too. And I believe whatever it is, whatever it is, it is there for you. Because if you can think it and feel it, it is calling you. Wrap yourself in it. Get immersed in it. Trust it. Even just sitting appreciating the thought that you can think this magnificent thing. If that's the first step you take, take that step. Take that glorious step. For 2019, I have a brand new workshop. I am diversity. It's a powerful workshop where we get up close and personal with racism, prejudice, and bias. 
So I want you to take a look out for it at a center coming near you for 2019. Or if you have an organization that you want to bring me in to work with your organization, it's a full, complete day followed up with a Zoom one-on-one with me. It's a powerful workshop, and it's for those who are ready to have a different conversation, to step in a different place, and to take some ownership. I'm excited about it, and I'm excited to share all the wonderful things that will be unfolding in 2019. Just like you, I am stepping into this new realm of expression, and I am eager and excited and filled with joy. I appreciate and adore each and every one of you. You and you and you and you and you and oh yeah, yeah, you too. Remember with all that you do to love yourself, remind yourself of how great you are. Listen to things that inspire you, read things that encourage you, that get your juices flowing. Oh, it's great. I love TV, but there are a lot of things on TV now that can inspire you. And it's great to have downtime to munchy, munchy, munch and look at all your favorite reality shows or cop shows. Those are great. But just make time for things that inspire you as well. Make time for things that make you think differently. Reach out to your community, wherever it may be. So I want to say in closing that 2019, every year, every year, if you are blessed to be here, recognize your blessings. Let's think about our blessings. I'm blessed for the technology. I'm blessed for my health. I'm, I'm blessed for the beauty that surrounds me every day. I'm blessed for every breath that I take. Think about your blessings as this year is coming in. You'll have plenty of time to be consumed with worry or doubt or fear. Let's spend more time in the realm of blessings and less time on what's not going right. Because there are a lot of things that are going right. Because every day this sun arises no matter what and the world turns no matter what. The ocean flows in and out no matter what. So what does that mean? No matter what, no matter where you are, no matter who you are, you are divinely supported. You have a sufficiency in this world that is beyond anything, that is always right there with you. Know that you are loved, adored, and appreciated, and that this is your time to shine. This is your clear this day. This is your clear day. On a clear day, rise and look around you and you see who you are. On a clear day, how it will astound you that the, the glow of your being outshines every star. Keep shining your star because you are a star. And on a clear day, you get to see the beauty that is you and the beauty that surrounds you. Thank you for joining me on Pass the Mic. I look forward to new adventures with you in 2019 because we're going to keep on doing this thing. Let's get 5K on this channel, y'all. Let's make this, let's do this thing together because you and I together, we can do anything. Remember, we are one. We hold a vision. 
We are creating our here and now. Just you and me. Just you and me. Big hugs. Happy celebration for 2019. I am sprinkling divine blessings and joy in the mystical, magical mysteries of the universe all over you. Big blessings. <laughs>